Hello there guys, my name is Ghost Chad Dogster on Bot Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Valhalla at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, let's get into the video. So, for a bit of background information for you, Valhalla is an intimate manufactured flume dart ride that opened at the Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the year 2000. Uh, it replaced the fun house, the old fun house that was burned down uh, years before. And of course that space was SPNO until Valhalla came in, right? The adventure. Now it does contain uh, s uh, sp specific scenes, uh, special effects, animatronics, as well as the famous flume type drops. As well as the backwards drop of course, that's one of my favourite elements on the ride. Now of course, back in 2012, uh, they managed to get some refurbishment done to the ride, including some brand new scenes. One of the scenes was taken out, as well as some other improvements generally throughout the ride. Now, nearly a month ago we released a video, and it was a video basically saying that there was rumours that Valhalla was set to close and be refurbished over the season to reopen the following season. Now, we didn't know how true that was until this morning when we got the announcement officially from Blackpool Pleasure Beach that Valhalla will be refurbished uh, throughout the 2020 season and it will reopen in 2021 just in time for the park's 125th anniversary now this is big news this is historic news now this is something I can look back in 10-15 years time and say I was there I reported this news uh, so let's have a look then on your screen now that, my friends, is the official statement from the park. Now, this statement officially says Blackpool Pleasure Beach is proud to announce the ride Valhalla has given a sprinkling of magic Christmas dust and will experience a reimagining during the 2020 season. With the ride reopening in 2021 in time for Blackpool Pleasure Beach's 125th anniversary. So that's the official statement from the social media accounts of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now, in terms of my thoughts on this, to be honest, I, I'm, it's interesting this one because, um, you know, I'm very excited about it, obviously, but at the same time, I don't know what exactly they're going to do with this, you know. It's uh, quite a mystery at the minute. We've only got that statement from the social media and that is about it. Uh, so it's up to us really to start predicting what we're going to think is going to happen to the ride. With it closing all throughout next season, throughout the whole of next season and into 2021, I don't even think this ride's going to be open during the 2021 uh, opening weekend in February. I don't think this is going to be open for the WoW weekends in 2021. I think that we're looking at, kind of like the 2012 refurbishment, I think we're looking at um, like a, an April sort of opening, like a spring opening, like a late spring opening, like they did with the refurbishment, like I said, back in 2012. Um, in terms of actual changes, uh, it should be interesting to see what they're actually going to do because I could see some, like I said, with, with the other refurbishment back in 2012, I could see some more improvements being done to the scenes, maybe some extra animatronics, maybe some replacement animatronics. Um, obviously, the ride is a very big cost to maintain. So, it should be interesting to see what exactly they are going to change. Hopefully, we'll see some brand new boats, maybe, uh, and do some train refurbishment on it. Um, maybe do like some new audio, maybe like uh, modernize the soundtrack a bit. Obviously, it's a classic soundtrack, you don't want to change it, right? But maybe like uh, mix it uh, again uh, and sort of bring like a, not like a, don't remix it obviously, I would ruin the soundtrack, but I mean like, um, like re-record the soundtrack with uh, the modern technology we've got nowadays, re-record the soundtrack so it sounds more atmospheric and it gives you more tension throughout the ride. Uh, and I would play it throughout the ride, I think there's certain sections like the backwards drop where maybe it might not be necessary. Uh, especially if you hear it fade out as you go towards the backwards drop and then you backwards drop back into the soundtrack. That'd be so cool. Um, <clears throat> my one of my favourite elements from the old Valhalla was that uh, there was like a, a triple drop into like a ring of fire. And you sort of go through the ring of fire. That ring of fire I believe has been removed if I'm not mistaken. Um, or it's not worked for a while. Um, Obviously the fountain bit, the, the like bubble works type fountain uh, bridge, that bit was fantastic. Uh, so I'd like to see him keep that. Obviously the temperature room scene, I'd like to see him do some adjustments to that, maybe make it even more colder. Um, there's, there's some big stuff they could do with this and it should be interesting to sort of figure out what they could actually do with the ride. 
Um, like I said, I think New Trains is definitely a must. I think New Trains is a big must for this ride. Uh, I feel like some 125th anniversary trains could be good for it. Kind of like with the other rides at Blackpool Poison Beats, I'd like to see maybe Big One get some uh, anniversary trains with the logo with the anniversary on it. Uh, Icon, Grand National, Big Dipper, Nickelodeon Streak, uh, Blue Flyer, uh, Steeple Chase, uh, even the non-coaster rides, you know, um, Sky Force maybe. Just spread that anniversary celebration around the park. But in terms of Valhalla in itself, uh, I'd like to see some new trains and some new boats uh, with the anniversary logo. Maybe redesign the trains a bit, make them look a bit more um, like Viking boaty uh, kind of thing. So uh, again, we, we don't have much details at this stage in the process. However, uh, it should be interesting, like I said, to see what exactly they're going to do with it. Um, I mean, I'm personally really excited about this. I think that. Uh, Blackpool Poser Beach are going to put together a fantastic project. It's going to be one of the projects to watch out for in the UK in 2021. Uh, and like I said, I'm really excited about this project. I think it's going to be a brilliant, brilliant project. Brilliant for the whole family. Uh, brilliant for us thrill seekers as well. Uh, and like I said, I'm just very really excited overall. I think this is going to be a fantastic project to, uh, to watch, look forward to. Hopefully try and bring you some construction updates as well. Um, and yeah, just overall... I, I, the only way I can really conclude this is I don't know what they're going to do I don't know what exactly they're going to change or refurbish or remove but overall very excited very 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 excited thank you very much for watching this theme park news from update from Valhalla make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell see you next YouTube video and for now guys my name is Coach Child, Kill on the Coast of Life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care, have an awesome day my friends